everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra Rojo, if you haven't been here before, but if you have been and you saw the first video, welcome back. So today we're going to be doing a makeup tutorial on um, makeup for minimalists. So if you're a very minimalistic person, <clears throat> or you don't know much about makeup, or where to start, or how to do your makeup, really, um, I think this is a good place to begin. And I will be giving you some beginner tips, yes, and um, just a fast not really a fast but a quick routine to get into and then it'll eventually become a fast routine it'll benefit a bunch of moms out there maybe some college students I'm not sure but if it is for you well welcome and this is makeup for minimalists so I have already prepped my skin um, prepping meaning I have washed my face I've moisturized it I've done everything I need to do before putting on my base for my makeup I like to use a moisturizer instead of a primer because primers are different in my opinion considering like how they feel on the face like some of them can be really tacky I'm, I'm not really a big fan of primers uh, I like to use moisturizer because it does give me like a good not tacky but not entirely smooth but I know it's gonna like make my base for my makeup last all day long because it just feels just so clean it's a fresh face first off I'm going to start with pulling my hair up because I don't like to wear my hair down whenever I apply makeup because I feel like it gets everywhere I shed really easily so I just pull my hair back and um, I'm going to start with the Clinique foundation it is the beyond perfecting foundation and concealer in the shade a 77 oh 18 sand I'm so sorry Okay, awesome. Yeah, the shade will always be on the bottom of the bottle. Well, most times. So, this foundation has allergy tested. It's completely hypoallergenic because um, whenever I was pregnant, I used this foundation. It's 100% fragrance free, moderate to full coverage, natural dash matte finish. This foundation and concealer in one covers thoroughly with a lightweight feel. Naturally flawless look lasts all day for all over coverage or use to spot conceal. And it's also oil free. So if you're a really oily person, this is good for you. If you are more of a natural girl, you can just, you know, just apply like a couple dots and, you know, go in with your brush or your sponge and you can do that. If you like the whole full coverage foundation look, you can add more. But it's a buildable foundation. That is the point of this. So I'm going to go with my Beyond Perfecting foundation and concealer foundation let me bring y'all in just a tad come up up close and personal <laughs> oh lord so how are y'all doing today while i'm filming my mom and my dad have brendan so that's actually like one of the best things about you know grandparents especially whenever you're 19 years old and you still have to live a life sometimes Sorry, I had to dampen my beauty blender. So I just like to go in with this blend because I just, I just dab all over my face and it blends in so quickly and so seamlessly. It just melts into the skin with a sponge, in my opinion. Like, I don't know. I just love a sponge application. Okay, so what do we think about this first layer? Um... I may go in with another layer just for show and tell purposes, but this is usually like the first layer of foundation that I do apply. So this is one layer versus none. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and do the other side of the face real quick. And then maybe go back in with some more. And I always have to pull my hair back because I'm afraid I'm going to like get so much crap in my hair whether it's product or anything really like I just get so much stuff in my hair like food oh my gosh that's the number one thing it's no matter what I'm eating or what restaurant I'm at I can have a napkin around my neck I can have a bib whatever the case may be I will still get food in my hair, on my shirt, in my pants, whatever. <laughs> All right, so that is the first layer on both sides. And as you can see, she does provide a good 
um, medium to full coverage like she claims. You can still see some, you know, spots coming through right here, but we can go in and put some more right there if we want to, if we like, because it is a foundation and concealer, so where else you want to spot conceal? I think that's good. And just gonna blend it out some more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So up in those eyes. Ah, ah, ah. Clinique skincare line is amazing. I used their product. I can't remember which ones, but I'll probably link it down below. But during my pregnancy, I did experience some fluctuation between like texture and my skin and a whole bunch just, ugh, it was terrible. Just because I did have a boy and his hormones <laughs> were like in my body and it was just miserable. And it was just like, one of the things that, you know, you try so hard to just get through, but it's just like bothering you. And you don't want to act like, you don't want to make it seem like you're just complaining over nothing, but it's just like, you still want to look good, you know? I just really wanted to, you know, have clear, beautiful skin during my pregnancy because everybody was like, oh my gosh, this is, um, I'm sorry. This is the Instant Age Rewind Concealer by Maybelline in the shade, it just says Neutralizer. Um, I like this product because it is very, I don't want to say wet, but it's very moisturizing I guess you could say I'm all about moisturizing the skin like if you give me a product that dries out the skin I'm not gonna use it I'm not cuz my skin's already dry so why would I put some more drying products on my skin if it's dry so I know this this um, shade is a little bit lighter than it should be but I do like a brightening effect under the eyes so I'm also going to go in with this little um, Tarte Shape Tape Concealer under my eye. Just like a little, you know, just a little boop, boop, and a boop, boop. Just because this is a contour shade. So I figure I'd deepen up the bright color with the contour shade. Just look, I mean, it's not even blended out all the way yet, but it is amazing. Like, it blends seamlessly. It does not crease under the eye. I mean, I do have creases. Oh, that's just my eye, okay? I'm not even going to lie. I've tried every concealer in the book. I'm bound to crease no matter what. Like, no concealer on the world is going to, like, remove the crease from under my eye. That's just the design of my face. So, I've come to terms with it. But, yes, this, um... Concealer, it just blends seamlessly. It melts into the skin and it blends perfectly. And not only that, but the most important thing is that it works very, very well with my foundation. It's so funny. Okay, about to spill setting powder everywhere. But it's so funny, like, learning things whenever you don't know a bunch about makeup. And <laughs> whenever you do figure it out, it's like whenever you've already applied it on your face and you... Most of the times I've gone so far in the face to where I'm like about to put my mascara on and run out the door and then I realize the mistake that I made. I'm like, mm, no, I'm not, I'm done. Alexa, level four. Four just seems like such a big notch down from five. No, it doesn't. Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Next, I'm going to set all this with some setting powder. And you can use whatever setting powder you want to. I have the um, airbrush powder, but I literally buy everything from Walmart, <laughs> except for my foundation. You cannot be cheap on skincare because that you only get one skin, girl, and you better take care of it. I'm telling you, get the SPF, honey. Take care of your skin, girl. Okay, you don't want to look like the Crypt Keeper, in you know, 15 years. Mm -mm. No, we're not gonna, we're not doing that here. But um, this is the CoverGirl Clean Professional. Um, loose powder in the shade translucent light. I like to use a light translucent powder just to do a little extra brightening under my eyes if needed. 
Um, if I'm not doing a brightening, I don't use as much. So I'm probably going to do like one, two, three in there. And one, two on my hand. And just go under my eye. And just dab it under there. I don't sweep it under. I dab it so it can get into the skin and so it can melt together. And like I said before, so they can be married. So they can be one. So they can be together forever. So I just have all this set. And now I'm just going to brush off the perimeter of my face. Not the inside. Because I still want to let that set a little bit. Just so it can brighten up a tad bit. But yeah. I'm just going to brush off the perimeter. So we can have that set for the day. And it's not going to move anywhere. Whenever I first got into makeup, I wasn't really all about the brushes and, you know, all that makeup tool stuff. Um, I was really just into the product. Uh, for the first part of my life, I actually applied foundation with my hands. So, if that tells you anything. Um, I was just not really into the whole brush thing. I don't know why, but now I am. I plan to get, like, tons of brush sets as um, this journey does grow. But yeah, for now, we're just going to be using a Mary Kay brush, and it's just, I just blend out my, um, my setting powder with it, so. After that, I'm going to try and fill in my brows. Okay, that is as good as the eyebrows are getting. So, sisters, we are just going to go on <clears throat> to the eyes. So, I'm going to be using the Jaclyn Hill palette. Unfortunately, that is the only, like, really professional makeup palette that I have. Um, I'm wanting to purchase some more. If y'all have any cool palettes that y'all love, adore, put on all the time, comment down below. I'd love to check them out because I do need some new palettes to, um, invest in. So, F-A-R-A-H, brush Ferrara. I don't know. 35E. It's on the, um, I don't know if you can see it, but... That's the kind of brush it is. I got this brush in an Ipsy bag, so I'm not sure what brand it is from or anything of that sort. This Jaclyn Hill palette is really the uh, first it, like major beauty influencer palette that I uh, purchased. And I will say it does have good pigmentation. It does everything that I need it to do. It's versatile in, you know, the color scheme that she does have and yes this palette is a mess because I've used it for like I don't know how long you can just do about any eye look you can do like bronzy you know sexy and sultry colorful you can do any eye look you really want to there's a whole bunch of shimmers a whole bunch of mattes in here you know you've got so much versatility in this one palette so that's why I mainly purchased it because I want, I kind of wanted to experiment with some color, and I still haven't. But, um, I really wanted to. Maybe I will in my next video. If so, if y'all want to see me experiment with color, like this video. So, with this eyeshadow look, I am taking, let's see, what two colors am I taking? I'm taking butter and pooter. That sounds weird. Um... Mixing those two together, just going like one, two, and one, two. These two. Butter and pooter. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. Mm, those are my brushes. And tap it off a little bit. And I'm going into the crease. And I'm just doing some windshield wiper motions at first. And whenever I say in the crease, it's like right in the crease. Kind of like a little bit above it. But, yeah, just doing some windshield wiper motions for now. I kind of want to get that color in there because that kind of gives the appearance of a contoured nose whenever you start that right there and then you continue on with your bronzer and it just gives a more of an illusion I guess you could say this is a, called a tapered blending brush from Elizabeth Mott this was also found in an Ipsy bag most of my products are from Ipsy as well but I'm just going to take the shade Creamsicle right here and just dab into that like one, two, three times, dust off the excess, and just 
go in circles where I applied butter and pooter just so I can give it a seamless blend and so I can mix in a little bit of creamsicle and give it that yellowy I don't know it's just such a pretty sunrise look this is my natural um, look that I like to do very often if I'm just you know probably running some errands around town or whatever it's just an easy look that literally takes no time to complete and it's just very simple and that's why I like it so I'm just going to keep blending in circles in my crease with the color cream sickle and to hopefully get a seamless blend around the edges and that's really the goal here alright so I've got the crease done that's the only thing I'm gonna do the crease MC T35 precise blending brush Mm, pro Alexa level 3 I'm not into sad music right now it's not sad but you know I'm going to be taking the colors beam and silk cream these two right here yeah they are matte shadows and I'm just going to be doing like a pretend cut crease not really a cut crease because once again minimalistic look but I'm just swiping the shadow on my lid right here and kind of just buffing it in there just so I can give the appearance, appearance, that's not a word, just so I can give the appearance of, you know, an open eyelid, I'm awake, hello everybody, I am here, look at me, if y'all didn't know, that is the attitude that I have, I am a Leo, so that makes me the most, <laughs> the biggest social butterfly you've ever met. I love people. I love hanging out with my friends. I love laughing with others. So, yeah. Now I'm going to take the um, tapered blending brush <clears throat> again and go back into the shade Creamsicle and just dust it off and kind of bring it in on this outer corner of my eyes just go in this circle motion right here on the outer V of my eye. I call it the outer V because it literally makes a V. But yeah, I'm just going to go in circles just so I can give the appearance, wow, I cannot speak today, the appearance of just kind of a blended out eyeshadow look. Like, just look how much I mean, you probably can't tell, but I can. <laughs> like, I just know whenever I like my shadows to look. Probably dip into this one. That dark, dark brown. It's called chip, like chocolate chip. Mmm. Dab that off a few times. More like 20. And just... I'm making the sound effect because I really want y'all to understand that I'm just doing windshield wiper motions. Nothing more than that with this dark brown. And yes, I did go a little bit ham in it in the pan, but I literally dusted off so much product off of my brush whenever I tapped it on this palette. So you're not going to be using a whole bunch of product whenever you get to that dark brown in the crease. Because dark pigmented shadows especially mattes can be really scary if you lose a whole lot in the crease you're just like oh my gosh I packed on a whole bunch of this black matte shadow and I don't even know how to move it around on my eyeball <laughs> so it can be a little bit intimidating you see how I just started that first little swipe and you see like the little bit the littlest bit of that dark brown that's literally how much you put in the crease just to give the illusion that your crease is deepened and it gives a little bit of dimension it's actually very pretty in my opinion and of course we're not just gonna leave it like this on our lid we're going to go back with that other ipsy brush and blend out the edges so it can be all blended out and be seamless and be married together as one like we've been saying this whole video that is really the point 
of blending and makeup look. Whether it's your eyeshadow, your your blush, your contour, whatever the case may be. You've got to blend, 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 and blend some more. That is literally the key to everything. And if you don't, if you are not a very patient person, if you don't like taking time out of your day just to sit there and blend, you've got to. That's, that's, all, that's the only piece of advice I have for you because your makeup literally will not look good if you do not take the time and the patience to blend out properly. So. I know this makeup look is a little bit dragged out, but that is because I'm trying to give you some key tips, people. The keys to the streets, like the Migos said. If you don't know who the Migos are, I'm, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's my eye look. And you're probably like, that's your eye look? Yes, girl, that is my eye look. That's my completed eye look. Because this is a minimalistic video. I will add the color back into my face by just applying blush, but that's it. Nothing else. Just blush. Oh, let me contour my nose just a tad bit. I'm actually going to go back into this um, palette. And the fact that doing a makeup for minimalist video, I didn't even, I feel ashamed now. Whenever you do have a palette like this, you can use the colors for literally anything. It does not matter. You saw how I put some of these dark browns in my crease. I can also use these dark browns as a bronzer. I can use these shimmer shadows, not just on my lid, but I can use them as a highlighter. See how versatile makeup is? Not just palettes, but makeup in general. So that's the thing. Um, sorry, I keep on... Um, covering up the camera because I record my phone low budget style right now but hopefully we'll be getting somewhere in a couple of months years I don't know but <laughs> I'm gonna contour my nose with let's see I kind of want to use that shade uh -huh. but yeah I just mainly contour just the bridge of my nose because that is the part that I want to to look slimmest out of all of this. Like, I love my button nose right here. I really do. I really, really do. So I just want to close in the bridge of my nose just a little bit. Just a little. Woo! That was my foundation. And then I brush up and flick up towards my nose. I don't go sweeping. I just flick up. And whenever I'm going this way, I'm trying to get the powder from my under eye and make sure all that is gone. But yeah, look at that nose. She's sister snatched, if you get that reference. <laughs> um, now I'm going to go in with my blush. And this is a Mary Kay blush with a Mary Kay brush. Wow. Mary Kay blush from Mary Kay brush. Uh, 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 all right. Um, yeah. Mary Kay blush, citrus bloom, and that's really the only shade that I have for y'all. But it's a mineral cheek color. That's what they call their blushes, but I just call it a blush. But yeah, I'm just gonna go where I would usually apply bronzer, just because I'm bringing the color back into my face. And that's how you apply bronzer, where... You want to bring the color back in your face, you put it there. See how natural that looks? Nothing extreme, nothing too much, just natural. Let's see, next I'm just going to do my mascara. And once I do my mascara, I don't really like to apply lashes just because I am a minimalistic person at this point. I used to be very, sometimes if I do have time, I will do a full beat, but I don't have all that time every day. So I will do this routine right here. And I, I'll i just wear mascara and call it a day. No lashes whatsoever. Oh, I forgot to tell you. Sometimes if you wanna, especially in the summer, get a sun-kissed look, a natural sun-kissed look, you can just boop into your blush and just like go over your nose just so slightly. And it makes you look like you've been out in the sun. You really haven't. <laughs> Secrets. Okay. 
So I'm just gonna apply my mascara and call it a day. Because I really do like my natural lashes. It's just they're kind of spaced out weird. So I'm trying to get them to grow thicker and fuller, I guess you could say. And then I'll be good with natural lashes, honestly. That's really all I need. Just thicker and fuller. I don't need, I mean, I could use a little bit longer, but. This is like a back in the day, like first, um, first time makeup user mascara. Whenever I was eight years old, I saw everybody with this mascara in my grade. They were like, oh my gosh, look at my makeup. And they literally only had mascara on. <laughs> uh, that's so funny. I'm not making fun of anybody. I'm just saying like. Okay, so got that one I done. See, I'm not a big fan of falsies right now just because full transparency mode, I don't really know how to apply falsies on a professional level like most of these YouTubers out here do. But, um, yeah, I think my eyes just look good with my natural lashes. It looks very flattering. It's... Oh, in this mascara, I'm using Great Lash by Maybelline. I told you it was an old-timey mascara. But I swear by it because it gives me this exact flared-out look. My lashes, like, I'm just so obsessed. I don't even want to finish my makeup look. I could just stare at my lashes, but... We've got to finish this. Yeah, sometimes I do get mascara on my bottom lash line on my skin, but you know what? Everybody makes mistakes. Everybody has those days. Everybody knows what, what I'm talking about. Everybody gets that way. Another thing I like this about this mascara is that it does have that, well, that pointed tip like that. So whenever I do want to get in on the inner corner, like, it makes it a lot easier. With a regular old applicator, the wand can just be so thick all the way around instead of, like, thick and then narrow. So I am afraid sometimes that I would get mascara on my eyelid and sometimes I still do with this one I'm not even gonna lie but um the easiest thing to do with that whenever you get mascara on your face is just literally do not forget what I'm about to say but just let it happen okay let the mascara dry down on your face don't freak out don't freak out okay I promise let the mascara dry on your face like I would but I haven't gotten anything on my face so I'm not going to <laughs> um but yes let it dry out on your face literally dry all the way out then get a q-tip and just and it will come right off there will be nothing there to prove that there is mascara there usually I just wear a lip balm whenever I go out and run errands I don't really sometimes a gloss I don't really do anything extreme to my lips unless I do have an event of some sort, but today I'm just playing my makeup and recording a video for y'all, so I am not going to be doing a lip because it is makeup for minimalists. I'm just going to take the foundation off my lips. So this is the completed makeup look of makeup for minimalists. I literally used seven products on my face. Um, I did have a little bit... Uh, more to do with the eye look just because I did build up the colors on my crease but yeah I think this looks really good you know just to do a little quick little thing nothing too extreme and let's give a little close-up look of everything you know look at the brows look at the blush look at everything and this is a great match this foundation is a great match to my actual skin tone like it's perfect. It's actually perfect. Sorry, I have a really runny nose, so if it looks like I'm picking my nose, I'm really not. Um, but yeah, I love this look. Everything just blended so seamlessly. Which I'm not surprised at all, so if it sounds like I'm surprised, I'm not. Because I use these products every day. 
but I really just love the way my base looks and this foundation is amazing you guys this foundation like I said in the beginning of the video it is buildable and it is a natural to matte finish so if you do build it up it's probably going to end up being a little bit more matte but I wouldn't worry about that because uh, every time I build it up it still leaves such a dewy finish on my skin so I think the only point that it would get matte is if you put too much powder on it on top of it trying to set it but this foundation is a 24 hour foundation lasts all day like it's such a good foundation it really is um that that's I really don't have anything else to say about this foundation like it's a foundation and concealer and whenever I went in the beginning and did all that and then blended and then I saw some more spots and then I spot concealed like it can't get better than that come on guys it can't but they do have like 40 shades in this line so they if you are afraid that they're not gonna have your undertone for your hyperpigmentation or all that crap they're gonna have it. Um, I got this at Belk. Belk is really good about shade matching you to your actual skin tone. So if you wanna go to Belk and get this foundation, just go to the counter and just be like, hey, I need to be shade matched to Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer ASAP because Sierra told me so. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, if you wanna share it with your friends, your mom, your dad, your family, please do. Please subscribe. Tell everybody else to subscribe. Um, comment down below if you want new ideas, if you want me to review any products, anything like that. Um, just comment down below. So um, until next time, guys, I'll see you later. Bye!